Hello, my friends. I hope you have a lot of wiggles in you because it's time to stand up, up, up so we can dance and sing to God with Miss Cindy. Well, hi, everyone. It's so great to see you. I sure have missed you. Are you ready to praise the Lord with me? This is a day, this is the day that the Lord has made, the Lord has made. I will rejoice, yes, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. today and it's so great that we get to worship him isn't it and you know what we need to make God happy don't we yeah it's a good thing to do that I love making God happy I know how do we how do we make God happy do what's right yeah be nice to everyone nice job and stay away from doing bad things great job you know all those things make me so happy because you know who it makes happy God, it makes our God happy. Make God happy. Make God happy. Make God happy and do what's right. Do what's right. Be nice to everyone. Be nice to everyone. Then you're happy too. Then you're happy too. And stay away from bad things. Stay away from bad things and do what's right, do what's right. God is happy, God is happy, and you're happy too when we do right, right? Stay away from bad things, stay away from bad things, and do what's right, thumbs up, do what's right. Make God happy, make God happy, then you're happy too, you're happy too. And then I'm proud of you, and your grown-ups are proud of you, and God loves you no matter what. Well, stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Listen to your Bible story, and I'll see you in a minute. Oh, I love to dance and sing to God with Miss Cindy, so thank you for joining me. Well, my friends, are you ready for another Bible adventure? If so, I need you to grab your Bibles and wiggle it back and forth just like this. Oh, you did such a great job, my friends. Now that you have your Bibles, can you turn with me to Matthew chapter 5? And we'll start in verse 1. So when we go to find Matthew, is it in the Old Testament or the New Testament? The New Testament. And it's in the Gospels, which are the first four books of the New Testament. Do you remember them? If not, can you repeat after me? You say Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Wow, you're really getting them. Now, what book did I say we were in again? Oh, right, Matthew. Thank you for your help. But before we hear what Jesus has to say to us in chapter 5, I have an activity that I want to do with you. I want to sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And if you know it, sing along with me, okay? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now let's stomp our feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. 
If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your life will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Thanks for singing and dancing with me, you guys. Did you know that God created us and he gave us feelings like being happy? And the Bible says that we are created in God's image. So that means that God has feelings too. And guess what else? We can make God happy. And on our Bible adventure today, we're going to learn how we can do that. So let's put on our listening ears and button or zip our lips so we can hear how we can make God happy. And boys and girls, whenever you hear me say happy, I want you to show me your biggest smile. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna see it right now. Oh, you have such a beautiful smile. Okay, our story starts out with Jesus. Now remember, Jesus is God's son on earth and he came to earth to tell us how we can live our lives for God so we can make God's heart happy. So one day, Jesus was walking and a large crowd started to follow him. When Jesus noticed this, he went up on top of a mountain where everyone could see and hear him. And then Jesus began telling the people in the crowd how they could be pleasing to God and make his heart happy. Jesus told the crowd that God is happy when people treat others fairly and show love to others who don't deserve it. Jesus also said that those who don't fight and who get hurt for doing right will be rewarded for their actions in heaven. What Jesus is saying is that the people who love others also show their love for God, and that makes him very happy. But not just loving the people who we are close to or, or those who are easy to love, but even the ones who are sometimes mean to you. Did you hear that, my friends? We can make God happy when we love others, even when it is super hard for us. Right, raise your hand if you have a brother or a sister. If you don't have a brother or sister, do you have a friend? Well, sometimes does your brother or sister or friend do something to you that makes you sad? I know sometimes that happens to me and how I react or respond to them can either make God's heart happy or sad. From our story today, we can know that God wants us to be kind to others, even if they're mean to us. God wants us to help others, even if that person wouldn't help you. Well, my friends, I hope you kept your listening ears on because I have a couple of questions for you. My first question is, where did Jesus talk to the crowd? Remember, he climbed up a mountain so that way the people could see him and hear him. Fun fact, this story is called the Sermon on the Mount and what Jesus taught them is called the Beatitudes. Alrighty. My second question is, what did Jesus tell the people? Hmm. He told the people about how their lives could make God happy. Alrighty, my friends, remember when I said that our story was called the Beatitudes? We have a B with all the Beatitudes on them. And so you can color these if you want to tell somebody about your story. And we also have this cute little flower that you can make. And in the center it says, God is happy when, and all the hearts have a different reason of what we can do when God is happy. Alrighty, my friends, don't go away just yet because Miss Cindy will be right back with your memory verse. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, everybody. Wasn't your Bible story awesome? Did Jesus tell the people about God? Yes, he did. And you need to be helpers too. You can be helpers anytime, all the time, even at home even at play, even at school. You can be helpers every day. Because in the Bible is Mark 1, verse 17. And Jesus said, come and follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus said, come and follow me. Yes, he did. Jesus said, come and follow me. Fishers of men, Mark 1, verse 17. Again, Jesus said, come and follow me. Yes, Jesus said, come and follow me. And I will make you fishers of men. Mark 1, verse 17. Jesus said, come and follow me. Yes, he did. Jesus said, come and follow me. Fishers of men, Mark 1, verse 17. Yeah, 
learning your Bible verse. Well, time for me to say goodbye. Bye-bye, worship friends, I'll see you.